Okay, I've had some time to calm down and collect myself since the last video. I want to address some things that I neglected to mention, starting with the Super Mario Land series. If Super Mario 3D Land isn't Super Mario Land 3, but Wario Land is Super Mario Land 3, then that means Wario Land 2 is Super Mario Land 4, Wario Land 3 is Super Mario Land 5, and Wario Land 4 is Super Mario Land 6. But what about Wario Land the Shake Dimension, otherwise known as Wario Land Shake It, otherwise known as Wario Land Shake? Well, it's not numbered, so it could just be a spin-off, but it could also be Super Mario Land 7. But if Wario Land Shake and Bake is Super Mario Land 7, then that also means that Wario Land Shakey Wakey Mr. Snakey is the first Super Mario Land game to not be released on a portable system. It was also the first Wario Land game to not get a sequel. This still leaves the question of where Super Mario 3D Land falls into all this, and I think the answer is obvious. Super Mario 3D Land takes place in an alternate timeline where Super Mario Land never happened. Instead of being 2D, the world is 3D. How would that work? I made the mistake of calling Super Mario 64 a sequel to Super Mario Bros. 5, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, Super Mario Advance 3, but there's something I missed. Super Mario 64 isn't a Super Mario Bros. game, you fucking idiot! Look, it doesn't have bros in the title! Obviously, Super Mario 64 is a spin-off that takes place in its own world with its own rules, and the same applies to every other 3D Mario game. They're all their own separate series. Super Mario 64 is one series, Super Mario Galaxy is another series, Super Mario's Eco Terrorism is another, Super Mario Odyssey is- No. Super Mario Odyssey isn't a series. It's actually a faithful retelling of the ancient Greek epic called Odyssey that I ripped off and made a video on EP about. Following along the previous line of thinking though, the new Super Mario Bros. games are also their own series. That means they're not a reboot but instead a standalone story. But... where? Is it possible that the new Super Mario Bros. games are actually two separate series? Bear with me. First of all, they were released in the following order. New Super Mario Bros, New Super Mario Bros Wii, New Super Mario Bros 2, and New Super Mario Bros U. Last time I was confused about whether New Super Mario Bros Wii was a part or a sequel, but I think I've cracked the code. New Super Mario Bros was released on the DS, and New Super Mario Bros 2 was released on the 3DS. It's fair to assume that the handheld versions are the canonical New Super Mario Bros games. And take a look at this. The console games have the name of their console in the title. I propose the new Super Series hypothesis, which states that the numbered handheld games are the canon games, and the console games are simply side games that exist in their own series. The new Super Console series starts with New Super Mario Bros. Wii and ends at New Super Mario Bros. U, while the new Super series starts at New Super Mario Bros. and ends with New Super Mario Bros. 2. Obviously this will be outdated when they release the new Super Mario Bros. game in either series, but all you have to do is look at the title to figure out which series it's part of. New Super Mario Bros. 3 is part of the new Super series. New Super Mario Bros. Switch is part of the new Super Console series. The confusing part is that the Switch is both handheld and a console, so a new game released on it could fall into either series. Okay, all of that is finally done. Now I can talk about the main pressing issue that I couldn't answer in the first question. What the fuck is a Super Mario